All you haters out there don't got this pizza with this pepperonis and these chickens and this steak. Get some. All right, everyone, we got a match here, or a roulette, I should say, versus Cote, or Cote, or whatever. Anyway, he's got a T-Tar, and I've got a Luke, so I know close combat's not going to work, because he's going to switch to something. So I'm going to go for Crunch, talking to corporate, approving memos, promoting synergy, and it doesn't do squid douche. I'm just like, say what? No way. So he's got bulky Starmie, <laughs> lols, and I... Uh, I, I guess I'm going to go for Crunch again because uh, Sand is going to hurt him before Leftovers. Gives me a chance, and I get min damage. I'm like, oh, come on, that stinks. So, plus I had a feeling he was going to go for Recover, so I'm like, that's all right. It'll give me one move as a chance. If he doesn't go for Recover, then I will kill it. And I don't really have a whole lot on this team that can deal with Starmie. So I'm going to go to Alakazam now, expecting him to change up, and I don't know if I can even kill at that point anymore and uh, throw in a faster Shadow Ball, or at least threaten a faster Shadow Ball, I should say. Um, but I'm not going to end up going for it. I don't know what he's going to bring in, but I'm going to go for a Focus Blast. And unfortunately, because I predicted on turn one like that, now he thinks I'm just in a big old predicting fest and I'm just predicting everything. So he's going to stay in here, which is a very good play and makes perfect sense. That's one of the downsides to predicting early on, is that you get out predicted later. And uh, it kind of matters a little bit more later, but... That's what I did, that's the breaks, and uh, I lose my Zam, so I'm like, crap. Well, now I've got a couple of options. I've got a couple of Scarfers, but I don't really want to reveal them immediately, um, and I don't really want to get stuck on anything when I only know two dudes on his team. So I'm just going to go right back to Luke, I think, and uh, go for the Crunch, which, who knows, maybe he'll predict I close combat instead and try and recover or something, but I have to go for it at this point, and uh, at least it pays off there. So... I guess in the end, I still finished off his Starmie, but I lost my Zam for it, so... Meh. I don't know. I suppose that's okay. I don't really know at the moment, though. But, uh... He sends in a Meta Chain, which I'm going to assume is Scarfed, because that's just how they roll. Um, I think it's kind of mandatory that they're Scarfed. So, I'm going to go to this dude, who, in before, oh my god, Ubers, uh, both of us allow them in roulettes, so that's not a big deal. And this one is back from, like, I don't know. I should literally check the day that he was bred because he was Bulky Mence before Bulky Mence existed and before Bulky d Knight existed and all that garbage. So he's got EVs all over the place, and he's really random. So he's not exactly as uh, good as a Mence should be. But I get a crit, so that's awesome. And uh, I feel like I should stay in and go for it. But at the same time, that wasn't the original plan when I saw Cradley come in here. And I don't know if I can KO without a crit. It's going to be really, really close, and I don't know. And part of me feels slightly guilty, so I feel like I should switch out and do something anyway. Plus, at the moment, uh, I didn't realize that Poison was not very effective versus Rock. So I thought it was neutral. I thought I'd have a super effective stab going here. And, uh, oh yeah, plus I was expecting Toxic. Um, only right after I clicked switch did I think, wait a minute, he's going to recover trying to survive. Um, ends up disconnecting, so we replay the match, um, but that's how it worked. I, I didn't think of recover until after I had clicked switch. It's like, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, that sucks. So in comes Cradley again. I'm not going to get the crit this time, but oh, wait, just kidding. I got the crit twice in a row in the same spot unbelievably hilarious that has never happened to me before which is even more funny because he said that's the second time this week that's happened to him i oh man i thought that was hilarious i'm like that was worth a disconnect to me that was totally worth it so um anyway i go in for poison jab and i'm like uh that wasn't super effective that didn't hurt that sucked so i double check my typings and i'm just like man that's a bummer. That, ugh, I don't know. He said he made the same mistake earlier that week as well, so 
perhaps it's not just me. Perhaps that's what I get for not playing since when the hell did I last play? Like June, <laughs> and it's mid-August. But you know, whatever. So he sets up rocks, which sucks because I have Sash Luke, and I've got bulky mints. But whatever. I send in Weezing. Weezing takes a lot more than I expected. I'm just like, what the hell, man? Like your Starmie was too good because it took hits and dished hits like a boss, and then Weezing freaking 372 defense just took 30% from that. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, or more than 30%. But, uh, you know, whatever. Here I am. I burn it. I burn it first and it missed anyway, so I'm like, that's cool. Um, I thought about pain splitting, but I was just like, eh, I don't know, because he doesn't have, like, 500 hit points himself or anything, so I just went for a switch, mostly as fodder. Um, I figured if it is going to be in case in the case of fodder, I can just keep going for jabs until he kills me, and then he'll be really low, or he can switch. Um, I figured that he would have gone to a steel type earlier had he had one instead of sitting in there. Well, after the recover, um, instead trying to predict the, to be immune to it, but he didn't. So I'm figuring at this point he just doesn't have a steel type. Um, the recover was obvious, but I was like. I don't really want to go to Luke. I just, I don't know. I, I thought about it, and I didn't pull the trigger. And then after he recovered up there, I'm like, well, maybe I should have. That probably was the right play, especially because Stealth Rock is up, and it ruins my sash. I still was trying to save him at higher hit points. And then Metagross comes in. I'm just like, oh, if I went to Luke, things would have been so much better. But now I'm in deep crap. Um... I would love to stay in here and poison jab and die, but I don't want him to agility up just in case. So I feel like I have to switch, even though this is the guy I want as fodder. Um, I don't want to go to Luke. I don't want to go to Blaziken, because I want to keep him secret. So I know Weezing is going to die, and I know I want to keep Weezing, but I just felt like I have to in the case that he uses agility. Um... So that that was really it. It was really switch and have Weezing die or lose to agility. And uh, I went in with uh, Weezing there. I tried to pain split. Um, he switched moves, which at the least tells me it's not choiced. So I know it's going to be lefties. Um, and I know that obviously like I've been predicting earlier and so on. And this is stab super effective. So I feel like I should go for something else aside from fire. But I'm scarfed. So I'm going to stick with it. Cradley comes back in. I get a crit. I highly doubt that mattered. Um, considering he is burned as one and two, I would have just stayed and gone for it anyway and taken, like, what, five points more recoil tops? I mean, that's that's totally worthless at this point. So, um, Metacham's going to come in, which I'm expecting to be a speed tie, but I don't want to go and fodder something else. And then what do I do? Go to Mence? I thought about going to Mence, but I'm like, I don't want to take a rock or an ice move that he'll probably predict because Mence is probably the correct play. So I go for the speed tie, and I lose it, and I'm like, ugh, that sucks. But I, I don't know. I feel like Mence was the right play. I just didn't want him to predict that. So I took the speed tie risk instead. Um, so far, my predictions are not working out for me in the end. Ever since turn one, I've just been losing all of them. Or I should say, I haven't been pulling the trigger on the ones that I should be doing. So um, I'm going to Dragon Dance up here so that I'll be faster, and then I can Roost. And I don't know. I thought about going for an attack because I probably could kill it, and I probably, or especially with a two-hit KO on anything else that comes in. So I felt like I should have gone for the damage, and yet I don't. I Roost, and I'm not quite sh I don't know. I guess that's because that's the way he's supposed to work. But I should have gone for a Dragon Claw. I, I don't know. I should have, or even EQ for that matter, and I didn't. So now I'm thinking, great. If I don't one-hit KO, I'm dead, and then I literally have no chance. So I thought maybe I should switch to Luke, because Luke will survive one hit. It'll be able to fire off a close combat on anything and dominate it. And then I'll still have Mence for later. And once again, I don't pull the trigger. I'm just like, ah. I don't necessarily think I played bad. I think I just moved too quickly is what it was. Um, hell, especially you can notice from the 11 minute video time. Because like every move I made, after I clicked it and the game starts going through and it was too late to change it, I felt it was the wrong move at that point. So I just think I, d I didn't take enough time. I was too impatient. And uh, you know what? That's that's the way it happens. Um, Coat's a great player. I can't take anything away from that. 
Um, the game starts to lag out hardcore right here. So if I get a chance to, I'm just going to run so he can save his verse record and he can keep his match. Um, I'm going to lose in two hits anyway, unless I get, what, I need extreme speed crit right here. And then, well, I, I don't even know. I need like a couple extreme speed crits, I think, to have a chance anyway. So good game, Co. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for playing. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck to him in the future. Peace.